Hello everyone, welcome to Shonky Lab. I'm Elton, this is Pete. Hello. There you are. I'm here. Sitting on the other side of this desk. Just for you. Made of wood. Wood. <laughs> you sure you don't want to start again? No, nope, we're fine. <laughs> and uh, yes, we're in the Shonky Lab and we are here to talk about dinosaurs Arr. and other stuff. We, we have iTunes reviews coming up. Yeah. We have news. Yeah. I've got news coming out of my bum hole. Is it shit? <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, I see what you did there. Well done. Um, uh, yeah, I've got tons of news, so we, we can blaze over some of that if you want to. We don't have to ramble on about that. But that's fine. And then we're going to be talking about them fantastic creatures from beyond the grave. The, uh, yeah, they died. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Keep going. The, the, Quick. The, Big, dinosaurs. Big, yeah, Just dinosaurs. say it. Come on, let's get on with it. Uh, we're going to be talking dinosaurs. <laughs> Everyone's childhood fantasy of having a pet dinosaur. Obviously not yours. <laughs> I will carry on. I don't know where you're going with this, mate. Nor do I. Um, <laughs> the, the pet dinosaurs from beyond the grave. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie dinosaurs. No, oh, no, no, no. I've never even thought about them. <laughs> Thanks for that. That's just another genre in my head now. I like it. Yeah. You know, zombie if, they dinosaurs. Could do, if they could do that silly shark film, they can do zombie dinosaurs. How wicked would that be? Well, you've got zombie beavers, haven't you? Have you? Yeah, have you not seen that trailer no. of zombie beavers? It's been out for a little while now. It's just a, mm. a chance to say beaver a couple of times and have hot chicks running around in like the nuddy. <sighs> I'm sure they did that with Piranha. Yeah, that's what it is. It's big boobs, um, small tops and beavers. And beaver jokes. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, oh dear. let's not worry about beavers. No. <laughs> Until later. <laughs> How have you been, sir? How are you? Uh, not too well, actually. Oh, oh, are you a little <laughs> bit poorly? <laughs> no. I did. We were supposed to be recording this midweek, weren't we? Well, then you yes. had your day off. Let, let's first off say uh, thank you very much for sticking with us, Mr. Pete Hammond. Yep. He was meant to be coming on. Yeah, and then uh, you got you you got poorly, <laughs> and then I had shit times at work. Yeah, and now here we are recording. Yeah, and he's not, he's stuck on the M25. <sighs> so we will record with Pete Hammond. We'll do something special. We'll do a show about Pete Hammond. How about that? Yes. Anyway, how was your week? <laughs> yeah, fine. Um, uh, yeah, I unfortunately got some uh, food poisoning last Sunday. What can I say? Oh, really? What, really? what did you eat? Do you know? No, food. Uh, it was a, an Asian wedding and uh, yeah, it's food all day long. So I don't know what I ate, but there was something there that made me as sick as a dog. And it really was as sick as a dog. Really? Really was. I've never sweated so much in my life. Oh, literally buckets of sweat. So mostly I've been ill. Yeah. There you go. But my son, Alex, just give you some Alex news now. Yeah. He started up. I'm sure Jacob wants to do this. He does does like uh, video casting. So he plays Minecraft. Yep. And then just talks shit. It's a bit like doing the Shonky Lab while we're playing Minecraft. (laughs) Would you like to know how many hits he's had in his, his video this week? How many? A thousand. Really? Yeah, little bastard. Flipping uh, hell. He's been going for like two weeks and he's had a thousand hits on right. the video. I'm We're shutting this the up. shonky <laughs> log down now, that's it. Well, I think we should just do the shonky lab while we're playing Minecraft. And say that we're doing Minecraft. Or yeah. just have Minecraft running in the background. Well, no, you just have to record the video while you're doing your talking. Yeah. Do-do-do-do-do. Build a little, I don't know, house. Or, yeah. You know, some... Yeah, Sheep. my boy wants to do that as well. Mm. He's been wanting to do that for a don't, long, don't let him, long time. Because it is gutting when you get a thousand hits in one week on your yeah. first week of. No, he's not having it. I'm, t- I'm going up there in a minute. I'm going to rip that computer out of the wall, throw it out the window. <laughs> I am not having it. Well, it's, it's. There's a billion um, Minecraft videos out there. I know, and people just love them. They do. I don't understand it. I don't, I've never even played a full game of it. Oh, is Can you it, play a full game? Is it, is it like a game that with a beginning, middle, and end? I don't know. Um, yeah. Or is it open? Just... Well, you have the survival and you have the um, creative. I've done both. I didn't really get far in the survival. I, I can kind of just built a castle, mm. and I prefer the creative side okay. of things. 
just building shit. Cool. You have a look at my Grand Prix track later if you want. No, it's all right. No, you sure? No, I am. It's wicked. It's bad enough that I have to tell my kids I don't want to talk about Minecraft. Oh. It's just like, Dad, on Minecraft, blah, 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 I'm like, do not talk to me about Minecraft. Oh, but Dad, I just don't understand what they're saying. It's like servers and... Oh, yeah, I don't get that. I have no idea. It's just like, literally, it's like, it's like listening to Cart Bosman talk. It's just like <laughs> drivel. So you know. Um, so yeah, I, I I'm not interested, but I'm I'm gutted. That, well, I'm I'm really happy yep. that he's got so many viewers. He's over the moon. That's it, wicked. It is. But I'm slightly gutted. He's got so many in such a short space of time as well. I tell you, we're doing Shonky Lab to Minecraft next week. That that's fine by me. Sorted. We can there do that. I I can record it and then you know we can do that. No, I've got I've got all the equipment upstairs. Mate. Well, we're just how about we just Get his videos, yeah, and take off the audio, and then we put our own audio in it. It'd be brilliant. Let's do it as an experiment. Let's. Let's It's an experiment. Yeah, we'll see how many hits we get on it. Yeah. If we get 2,000 hits in a week, then we know (laughs) what we're doing as from then. Uh, Other than that, the only thing I've been doing is Black Ops. Ah. I finally discovered the Black Ops. You see, it's like, once again, I'm late to the party. Everyone goes on about, oh yeah, Black Ops, it's wonderful, it's the most amazing thing. And I've tried it, I'm looking at it thinking, I don't really understand that. You know, it's just like, you know, just running around shooting people. And then, you know, Alex got it for the Xbox. Yep. And he was playing away and he's just like playing and playing. And I was like, oh, come on then, let's have a quick go. I was like, oh, actually, that's, that's all right, actually. Come on, let's have another game. Yeah. And that's it. Now, three weeks later, I've put about 100 hours into Black Ops. Oh, dear. So now the Skyrim room has officially been redubbed the Black Ops room. Do you love it, then? I'm pretty much loving it, yeah. Not actually playing the game. Right. I'm not playing the game, not like Skyrim. I just go online and kill people. There's nothing quite like it, especially if you kill the same person three or four times. It's quite gratifying, I have to say. Have you noticed the time shift on when some really good players get on board? Oh, God, as well? absolutely, yeah. It's around about 10 o'clock at night, mm. and well, maybe a little bit after that. Mm. But you'll be playing, and then all of a sudden, you'll start losing really yeah. hard. You think, hang on, what the hell? What? I'm not doing anything different. No. What's going on? How did you know I was there? Why are you shooting him in the face? That's Don't it. do that. And yeah, it's. I I had to jack that game in. Mm. So I got I used it as a let's wind down type mm. game. And you found you getting wound up. I was getting really flipping annoyed with it. I was how do you know I was there? What are you doing? Yeah. Oh you see, I mean you do occasionally get parties of guys come on and they obviously just have nothing else in their life. Yeah. Because they go on with the sniper rifles and they do quick scoping. And it's like sometimes you you see like say so like they get the final kill, mm. they just literally ding, straight away. Yeah. I can't, you know, I pick up the sniper rifle. It's like fucking weaving all over the place. And it's like I take a couple of pot shots and I hit a can and you know, yeah. <laughs> and they're just like ding, and they kill you straight out. And if you get a whole bunch of them and they're playing as a party, you got no chance. Three or four times I've been like respawned and just shot straight away. <laughs> there is a. There is a knack to it, yeah. The, the quick scoping, yeah. I think you have to, you know, scope up, and then as it pops up, it's sentenced on that person mm. straight away. If you pop it, then bang, thank you very much. It's just like anything, you just got to get used to it. So that's it, that's my news, man. That's all I've done apart from give my car a clean, which it desperately needed. There you go. But frankly, nobody wants to listen about my car cleaning stories. So let's talk about you, sir. I doubt, How has your week been? I doubt there are very many stories on car cleaning, to be honest. No, there probably is. We're I not bet Lee Medcalf. I bet Lee Medcalf has hurt himself or broken something or destroyed something cleaning a car. I bet you money. <laughs> He's the Brian Harvey, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nearly run himself over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just waxing away and I forgot that I hadn't put the handbrake on. He ran <laughs> over my foot, I dropped the cloth and I poked myself in the eye with the aerial. <laughs> Um, my week, hang on, let me pull up my news of week, because I've got quite a bit of week. Right, do you remember I had problems with the play, uh, PlayStation 3? Yes. It died again. Which one are we talking about Right, now? this is my one. Right, okay. Right. I got it going. Yeah. Finally. Yeah. And it was Hosanna. It is working. Yeah. 
I said to Jacob, right, okay, you can play it because he's got this Assassin's Creed and yeah. he's enjoying playing that. Yeah. And I've got no problems in that. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty yeah. timid game, so. Yeah, um, blood and it's not guts. Even, it's not even that much. Says. No, you get to be a pirate. <laughs> Who Catch doesn't want Jack. to be a pirate? I don't know. If you don't want to be a pirate, write in. Tell us why. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, got that going. And then it, um, he had a go of it. Yeah. Played Assassin's Creed. Yeah. And thought, oh yeah, brilliant. Thank you very much. Everything's working fine. Closed it down. Went on it the next day. Beep, Nothing. Beep. Yellow light of death. So I stripped the whole thing down again. But this time I put um, some thermal paste on there. You all right? Just in between the, the couplings. Bosh, works. Games, cool. it, it loads up. You can turn it off, you can leave it. It heats up again, turn it off, leave it. Play DVDs. Works a treat. Nice. Thank you very much. PS3 fixer. Yes. So it's all working. So I've cool. got all my save games. Thumbs up to that. Well I'm, done. I'm a and Jacob's got one in his room now. No. Oh. He's not. He hasn't even got a TV in his room. Well, what? Just that. What, how is he playing it then? On the one in the front room. So where's the other PS3? That's in the loft at the moment. Why do you want a PS3 in the loft for? What? What good is it in the loft? I have. Uh, yeah. Ah. I haven't uh, got facilities to plug it in. I need a new kettle lead and a HDMI cable. Then I can have it in my room. Would you like one? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Okay. If you've got one knocking yeah. around, then, yeah, I'll, I'll take them. Thank you very much. Okay. Right, what else? <laughs> uh, uh, da, 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 da. Right, I was told, Yeah. because uh, my week was shitty at work, Yeah. Um, some a manager really pissed me off. Right. He must have been about 23. Yeah. And, you know, he's, he's badgering on him. Oh, my lift's not working. For me. If you... If you don't know how to use it, it's not hard. It's a box that goes up and down. It's yeah. re- pretty simple. Yeah. It's like posting a letter through a box. Yeah. Not a lot to it, is it? Press it, the button, you go up. Yeah. Press the button, you go down. And it's a metal box. It goes up, it goes down. Yeah. How they do not know how to use that, I do not know. How they f- up so much, I do not know. But when you're trying to tell the manager, who's probably about 23, who really doesn't really give a shit, to be honest, understandably, but please pretend to understand instead of playing flipping Candy Crush while I'm trying to tell you oh, I could have rammed his head through a window why didn't you because that would have been rude yeah fair comment I would have got done for that yes uh, well else? I think probably if you told them that he, you were trying to explain it and he was playing Candy Crush they would have arrested him on the spot yeah <laughs> hopefully yeah <laughs> the Candy Crush police would have you know, Absolutely. taken him away take him away and a different site yep um, the manager said I had no sense of humour. <laughs> now, this, bear in mind, I'd driven two and a half hours to get to this place. And the woman, had a ma- I had a manager behind me and a manager in front of me. One in front of me was a lady. Yeah. And she was obviously the big manager. Yeah. And uh, uh, he said to her, over my shoulder, uh, do you want me to come with you? You know, just in case. And she turned around and said... What? He's not going to assault me or anything. And I'm in the middle going, You are? Are you making a rape joke? <laughs> yeah, um. Uh, okay, and then they looked at me. Oh, oh, he's not laughing. Oh, can't have any sense of humour. <laughs> uh, you what? <laughs> so, yeah, that, that really paid me off. Imagine that. Something peed you off, mate. Well, you know. Make a rape joke and then you know, oh, I haven't got any sense of humour. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, you don't have a sense of humour, let's be honest. Not, <laughs> not about that. No. no. Sorry, man. That's not funny. <laughs> I I can't dig that. No. That's that's not good. No. Um, took on on the brighter side of things. Yeah. Uh, took Jacob to the England match. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. England versus Denmark yeah. down in uh, Wembley. Most exciting thing about the match. The end? Mexican wave. <laughs> it did, you know, do you remember on um, our uh, our bucket list episode, I wanted, oh, yeah, I wanted yeah. to start a chant. Yeah. There was, <laughs> I was sat there going, oh, I wonder if I could start a chant. And I, I was just watching around and, you know, people like banging away and, you know, doing all their own little thing. You know, there's 60, 60 or 1,000 people in there. And, you know, they're all doing different things. 
and at one moment I was England <clears throat> oh, no <clears throat> and just joining with other people you know I thought no no I haven't got the voice for it it's never going to happen so I'm not even going to bother doing that <laughs> But there was about a group of maybe 40 kids next to us. We was in the family section. Yeah. And they were spent the whole first half trying to do a Mexican wave. They're all going, oh, jump up. And it would go around maybe 50 rows. Yeah. And then it'd die off and it'd be, boo. It's good fun. And I was sat there going, they're never going to do this. You know, good luck to them, but they're never going to get this done. Second half. And it's, it's dull. The match is dull. And uh, they're sitting there watching it. And these kids keep going. Oh. And they do it again and do it again. All of a sudden, it goes around three times. It catches on. And you got everyone just doing this Mexican wave. It's wonderful. I love it. I want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just good watching these guys. And they were getting so excited. And as it came onto the main straight, back towards us. They were going, oh, it's coming, it's coming. And they started going, oh. <laughs> it's brilliant. I actually videoed the last time it went around. I put that on YouTube. I didn't get a thousand views. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have Minecraft on it, mate. No, I didn't have Minecraft. You no. should have just put Minecraft Mexican Wave. You'd have had a thousand views. I did get... I, now, there's an idea. I did get a um, hundred odd views on it, though. So I'm quite impressed with that. Yeah, that's cool. I was, I was cool. quite happy with that. I think YouTube is the way to go. We need to get rid of this shonky old levy thing. Yes. There you go. Okay. Um, went out for dinner last night. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh my God, man, you've been doing loads of stuff this I week. I know. I told you I can fill a show up with it. Well, go on then. Go on. Where'd went, you go? Went into Gosfield. Okay. Ever been there? I have been to Gosfield. There's a pub called The Green Man. I've been to The man. Green Man, yeah. It's quite a nice pub, actually. Yeah. They do kangaroo. Oh, okay. I had kangaroo steaks. And? Well nice. Really? Yes. They The guy said, we won't cook it, cook it anything under medium. Or anything over medium. Okay. So it had to be medium bloody. Medium or not yeah. yeah. Because it's such a, a delicate meat. Right. This is what the guy said to me. He said, said it's such a de uh, delicate meat, we won't cook it any further than uh, medium. Right. And it just go rubbery and chewy and just be bloody horrible. Yeah. That's really nice. Okay. Really nice. I recommend kangaroo. Okay. What does it taste of? Beef? Not quite. Okay. More it tastes like, like chicken? No. It's or more does like it taste a, like kangaroo. More like a, a venison. Okay. I don't mind a bit of venison, so perhaps we'll give it a go. Yeah. Well worth it. Okay. But we did have a, a situation at okay. the table. What was that? It's it's really bizarre. We somehow they they had the news on in the background. Right. They had uh, the rugby on, and then once that finished, they put the news on, mm. and there was uh, news about uh, you know news and uh, Russia and stuff like that. Oh yeah. And Jacob was going, "Oh, do you reckon they're going to start a World War Three?" And we're all sitting there going, well, "I hope hope they don't." And then Kimmy started going. Why? Why? Why was there a World War One and World War Two? Oh, okay. <laughs> so we start talking about that, and then she's all of a sudden she starts breaking down in tears. Oh, really? Yeah. Um. Okay. Are you all right? I I don't want anyone to die. I didn't want them to kill all the people in World War One or World War Two. And I'm. Uh, oh. Okay. Right. Let, let's talk about ponies or something like Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And that was it. Because she was tired, it, that yeah. was it. it. It was all downhill from there then on. And I had to explain to the manager as well, because <laughs> he came over and went, "Did you enjoy your meal?" And she's got floods of tears just down her face, and he's like, "Oh, was it not a good meal?" You should have said, "You should have said <laughs> that she's crying because the meal was so horrible and shit. We want our money back." <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would have done. <coughs> um, yeah, and so I, I said, "No, no, no, it, you you won't understand." He went, "Oh." Really? I went, no, you won't understand. <laughs> oh, okay. And he walked off. And so then I had to go and explain it. And he going, oh my God. <laughs> Please don't ever come back to my pub. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was good though. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And also, uh, today, Jacob had a football match. Uh, the team cancelled. 
And so it ended up being dads versus kids. Oh, God. was it like Kess? Were you like kicking them over and all that sort of no, stuff? No, well, it was uh, some dads on some teams. You know, half dads on one team, half dads on the <laughs> other team. And it was good fun. I am going to regret that in the morning. I'm going to regret will. that in you the morning. probably will, sir. All that running. All that acid in my legs right at the moment. I could have done with a... Uh, um, Ice bath maybe would have helped. Do you think an ice bath would help? No, I no, don't. I, I don't want to think about my bits and ice. No, That's the thing. I, I reckon just chopping my legs off, I'd be fine. Do you want me to do that? Can we get the tools downstairs? We could have them off in a jiffy. <laughs> <laughs> a jiffy, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna regret that. Yeah, but it's Re- fun, though, isn't it? Oh, it's brilliant! I love it. Love it. Why do you do it every week? You can arrange for all the kids to come out and play with you. Well, that's the thing. All Elton's the, playtime. All the dads at half time are like, this is really good. We should do this more often, shouldn't we? <laughs> yeah, right. You wait yeah. till you get to the end of the match. Absolutely. Then, then you'll be saying something totally different. Uh, I think it's like anything, isn't it? Everyone like everyone has these great ideas. Let's do this. Let's do that. And then it's like, oh, I can't do that weekend. Oh, I can't do this. And I can't do that. And it's like, oh, God. Happens every yeah. time, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I'd love to do that. I can't do Tuesdays, Wednesdays, or Thursdays. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. So that that's Monday and Friday. Yeah, I drink Friday. Oh, and I I do pick up the missus on. Oh, right. So we're not doing yeah. it. No. No. Doesn't well, look, look like how, it. Look how much trouble we have just recording once a week. Yeah. Just the two of us. It's bonkers, isn't it? It's <laughs> yeah. Crazy. But yeah. It's not even if I do anything in the week. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Anyway, so yeah. There cool. we go. That's the end of my week. Cool. Lots of fun. Busy. Yeah. For a change. Yeah. It's better than me going, no, nothing, mate. Well, it's the last two weeks is all I've had, mate. Yeah. What can I say? Um, it's obviously reversing. You've got a real life and I've got no life now. Yeah. Apart well, from chucking up everywhere. Yeah. Well, you, yeah. You are the um, no, yeah. talking to Ralph on the white phone. Okay. <laughs> is it news time? No, it's iTunes review time. Oh, okay. I'll put the news down. No. Can't right, I? yeah. Um, we did promise that we read out some iTunes reviews yes, that we we've did. had. I know we've had some in America, so thank you to very everyone who, who's in America that's uh, sent us some I, iTunes reviews. Okay. Um, I haven't. Well, I don't want to join uh, BT Wi-Fi. No, thank you. Um, I haven't got them on me at the moment because I'm on my account. I'm not okay. on the American account. So thank you to everyone who's done that. Um, yeah, we've had two more on the Shonky Lab on right. iTunes. We have, hang on, let me bring this a bit closer. Well, actually, I could bring the mic closer. <laughs> that mic needs a bit of oil. There we go. But... Uh, we've had uh, Lebowski74, which is... Greg, I believe, is it? Yeah. Well. There you go. Uh, he says, um, shonky stuff. Five stars. Uh, if you want to listen to a lift engineer and another bloke who doesn't seem to do any work... Uh, but talk about his kids and random things, then uh, and have the odd laugh thrown in. Then listen. Blah 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 blah. Mm. So thank you very much, Greg. Cheers, Greg. And we coming had... for a man who spends his entire life doing bugger all apart from sitting on the sofa. Sitting on the sofa and pushing bits of le- uh, paper. Yeah, but not for not for, for like five minutes in the morning. Yes, he's done by nine, hasn't he? <laughs> If he's not home in bed again by nine, he's complaining. He's done by nine. Triple time. Counting all the money that he's taken out the <laughs> yeah. letters. All oh, the birthday cards were heavy today, dear. <laughs> Sorry, little boy, you didn't get any yeah. birthday cards. Greg, we're joking. It's yes. a joke. We know you don't do that. Because you don't live around here. <laughs> and Gary King, 2009. Now, I don't know if this is Gary King, uh, his actual name. It could be. He okay. says, Shonkin Lee Good, five stars. Uh, enjoying the podcast, came across it after listening to the Primer episode that was tacked on to the end of some other Shonky podcast. There you go. Mr. Cool. Ian Lee. Bless him. Thank you very much, Mr. Ian Lee. Cheers, Ian. And uh, it's a bit like having a conversation with two old friends, but hiding in the cupboard and not saying anything. Seriously, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, it's, it is a good listen. Uh, taking a while to catch up from the start. Oh, there you go. There you go, cool. Thank you you very much. Now, here comes the crux of everything. The crux? Yes. Uh, We've had 20 reviews on iTunes, which is good. It's thoroughly good going. Thank you very much for everyone who's done that. 19, a five star. Right. 
we have one, <gasps> which is a one star. Oh my God. That means that there's someone possibly listening now who pressed the one star. Oh well. Who's now, that? I, do you know what? I don't mind. Who is it? What does it say here? It, it doesn't say. Oh well. There's no written review. It's just someone going, yeah, I can I can destroy them with, with this. Look, one star. <laughs> hey, at least you can't give us no stars. That's all I say. So thank you very much for the one star. Um, can I see the one star person? It, it doesn't say who it is. Does it not, does it not say no, who it is? It's just a one star. It's just... There's not even a comment. No, you don't have to write a comment if you okay. uh, click the, the stars. But anyway... If well, you have a problem with there the are, show... There are some days with shit, to be honest with you. Yeah, uh, look, I, I am the first one to admit that. Don't worry about that. There you go. I am always the first one to admit that. <laughs> but if you do have a problem with the show, then let us know no, at no, shonkylab no, at just, gmail.com. If you have a problem with the show, just keep it to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't going to get any better. It, it's too late, mate. I've given out the email address. <laughs> what the, if someone says, I think you show shit because of this, this and this, are you going to change it? No. <laughs> no, I'll go just go. Then. I'll, just, I'll reply and go, thank you very much. Just keep it to yourself. Yeah. Anyway, keep downloading. Thank you very much. There you go. And should we go on to the news? Let's. Okay. I say, what was that? News is needed. Tally ho. News away. Until next week, chaps. Right, what have you got? Well, uh, unfortunately, my news seems to be turning up. I, I download the news, yep. and then it turns up on the uh, on on various different websites. But you can listen to it anyway. First one, yep. Italian pension. No, in fact, you should do one because you've got millions. Uh, uh, are you sure? Yeah. No, I'll go on. I'll do it because you haven't got yours ready. Well, you you nicked one off of me as well. Did you I? put it? You put it on the Shunky Lab page what about the terriers in the Japanese. Oh, was you doing that? Was you? No, I wasn't going to do it, but well, oh. I had it ready to go. Ah, oh, sorry, man. So I I would have just had more news. That's, so that's I fine. thought it was wicked. I just like it's no, fantastic. No, that's why I thought terriers it was brilliant. in a zoo. It's brilliant, isn't it? It's wonderful. <laughs> Um, Italian pensioner hires an escort who turns out to be his son's girlfriend. Oh! Yeah, gotta love that. An elderly Italian man got a rather unwelcome surprise when he ordered an escort and his son's girlfriend turned up. The 70-year-old from uh, Treviso, a city in the northern region of Veneto, hired the escort from the neighbouring town of Vicenza. Uh, but to his shock, it was his 40-year-old son's South American girlfriend arrived at his house. Um... Red faced, the pair declined to take the encounter further and swiftly parted ways. The man pondered whether to tell his son that the woman was not the way she claimed to be, but it meant exposing his use of the escort service. That's a bit sharp, isn't it? Ouch! It would be a bit, a bit strange. It's like, oh, hello. <laughs> What, what are you doing here? <laughs> no, I didn't order an escort. No, no sorry. <laughs> I'm not an escort. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Right, okay. You be the man. Yep. I'll be the girl. Hello. I can't do that. Go on, go on, go on. Hello. Are you my escort? Oh, no. Yes. You're my son's girlfriend. I forgot. You're the strange new uh, South American girl. Father-in-law. <laughs> Hello. Um, what, what are you doing here? Um, I'm not an escort. <laughs> I didn't want an escort. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Um, nice weather, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it just at 11 o'clock at night? Um, yes. <laughs> um, I'll be off now. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Slap the door. <laughs> Pretty sure that's exactly how it went down. I don't think it's going to go any differently. <laughs> right. Uh, I suspect there's probably some uh, arguments. Oh, I don't know. I just what would you once again? You know, it's like that horrible situation you get into when you know that uh, like people are cheating on each other. Yeah. And it's like you're in that situation where it's like, do you say something or don't you say something? Yeah. You know, you feel like an arsehole because you're not saying anything, but that's just a whole can of worms you don't want to have to open. And it's bad enough when it's someone just cheating, but if it's like an escort who's like putting it around left, right and centre. Well, you know, she's getting paid for it. Yeah. Maybe the son... You. ...is enjoying the money. Maybe he is. It's good money. Not that I know. know. Not, not <laughs> that I know. Man jailed for encouraging friend 
to tattoo penis on unwitting <laughs> oh, victim. Did you see yeah, this? Yeah. A man has been jailed after encouraging a backyard tattooist. I didn't know there were backyard tattooists. To draw a 40 centimeter penis on another man's back without the recipient knowing. <laughs> it was drunk people. Yeah. They were drunk. And uh, the friend, I like to put in quoted marks, friend, um, uh, encouraged the tattooist. Go on. Go on, do it. Go on, do it. Go on, go on, do it. Go on, go on. And he did it. <laughs> oh, dear. I can imagine it's one of those things that um, is probably hilarious at the time. And then afterwards, you're like, <coughs> oh, my God, what have we done? Yeah, he, um, the, the victim thought he was getting a yin-yang design with the dragon <laughs> and a <the> tiger <laughs> and i see i've never had a tattoo yeah so i'm wondering how well do you know what is getting drawn on your back can you f hang up that feels like a penis <laughs> i'm sure that a yin yang would be quite you know you'd be like it's gonna be round like that and, and then you gotta have that bit in the middle yeah, and, and then, then there's a dragon. I mean, but like a penis is like you look at it's like it'd be a shonky old yin yang. You'd feel him doing the pubes, wouldn't you? <laughs> and and the little bit of spaff coming out the top as well. <laughs> yeah, uh, on the morning of the incident, all three men had been apparently drinking rum at Brandy's Ibu Vale home before the vic uh, before the victim who was on disability pension why why does that have to be in the news i don't understand was taken to a bedroom to get his ink work done brady then began drawing a penis testicles an obscene phrase on the skin of the unnamed victim <laughs> Uh, the judge said it was a miserable offence and act you acted miserably towards a vulnerable young man with a significant dif uh, disability. <laughs> what? He was pissed. Ah, joy of joys. you go. Know. All right, then. Scooby Doom. Puppy blows up owner's house after chewing through can of deodorant. <laughs> I know this story. Do you? Yes, It's I actually, do. it's getting on a little bit now. It's January, but I thought it was wonderful. To, well, it's not wonderful because he blew the house up, but it was just like a puppy blew up his owner's house after he chewed through a can of deodorant. Greyhound Cross Zeus was left alone for just 10 minutes before he sparks an explosion so powerful it shattered double glazed windows, blew through floorboards and set a sofa on fire. That's pretty keen, isn't it? The six-old-month pup had chewed through a can of Leek's deodorant and its contents sprayed out. They were ignited by the heat from a lamp. Uh, the blast caused 2,000 pounds of damage, but Zeus, along with five other pets in the house, escaped it uninjured. Uh, owner Kerry Leach said, he's just a pup at the moment, he'll chew anything. Oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, that uh, that story actually came up on uh, Are You Telling Porkies? Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh, I should be listening, then I'd know. Exactly. <laughs> It's all right, I'll download it for you. It's just about numbers. That's all it is, mate. There you go. Right, uh, Frank R. His name is spelled A-R-C-E, which, when you look at it... Arse. It's, it's arse, isn't yeah. it? It's Frank Arse. Falls through wood chipper. <laughs> Falls through wood chipper. Survives. Really? Yeah. Bloody hell. A man has somewhat miraculously survived being sucked through an industrial-sized wood chipper. Most of the man's body was crushed and shredded as he went through the machine, a process which took an agonising ten seconds. <laughs> ah. Frank Arse, who I am going to call him, suffered a broken pelvis, seven, seven broken ribs, a shattered ankle, bruised liver, broken leg, a collapsed lung, crushed knee and a deep cut that runs the entire length of his body in the accident. Actually, going through the machine it itself wasn't the worst part about it. Crazy, <laughs> eh? What was the worst part was not knowing what was going to happen. <laughs> Pretty sure you know what's going to happen yeah. if you go through a chipper. Uh, Ars climbed, <laughs> climbed into the turned off machine to remove an object which had become stuck. Not realising he was inside, a co-worker turned the machine back Oh, on. my God. <laughs> oh. 
Horrifically, he said he heard the machine's engine turn back on, but realised it was too late to escape. <laughs> you see, I think it's one of those things that probably while you're going through, it probably doesn't hurt that much because you're just, you're just full of adrenaline and you're like, you know, screaming and shouting. And, you know, I mean, you know what it's like when you cut yourself. It's like, you know, it's just the sight of the blood. It doesn't actually hurt to begin with. Yeah. And then it's like when he plops out the end and he's on the floor with his broken ribs and his punctured lung and God only knows what, mm. that is when the agony is going to set in. Wait, he does, just flops out like a stew. Well, you're end. going to, aren't you? Yeah. It's going to be like... Pfft. You're not yeah. going to be able to stand up or... No, you're just going to be like screaming, I should imagine. That's one horrible mess that mm. you don't really want to be part of nobody wants to get involved in that no that's gross that's not nice at all yeah um <sighs> have you got any others yeah i've got one more okay. and this has actually appeared on the lab actually okay but i think it's so cool that i'm going to read it out anyway uh wanted volunteers to knit little woolly jumpers for poorly penguins it's wicked oh little penguins with with po- with little woolly jumpers on <laughs> i love it yeah. Um, a conservation group in Australia is calling on knitting enthusiasts to donate small woolly jumpers for sick penguins. <laughs> Phillips Island's Penguin Foundation has used the jumpers to help rehabilitate birds that have been affected by oil spills or similar leaks from fishing boats. Um, oh, hang on, this is our happy finish story. <laughs> <laughs> the jumpers help to keep the penguins warm and also prevent them trying to clean the toxic oil away with their beaks. Uh, if somebody put on the sea, a little penguin swimming along, pops to the surface and finds out he's come up in a circle of yucky stuff, Blom told ABC News. The first thing he wants to do is get to shore because he loses all of his waterproofness. I just I just think it's really sweet. It's just like, it's little penguins in jumpers. Oh, I mean, yeah. that's just wicked. Yeah, you what, can't beat penguins in jumpers. What more do you want? I can't think of anything. Can't they're, think of anything. They look cool, don't they? They do. They're look all sitting cool. there going, "Yes, we're in jumpers. We're in jumpers. We're all in jumpers. <laughs> yes, look at our jumpers. Do you like my jumper? <laughs> I suspect they're probably going, "My jumper's better than yours." Yeah. Like, no, mine's better than yours. Well, can I wear your one tomorrow? <laughs> Swapsies. <laughs> now I'm keeping mine. Oh, right, okay. I have one more bit of news. Go um, on. Well, I have just deleted a piece of news by accident. Ah. Oh. It was. It. I'll just skirt over it. It was about a Japanese man. Uh, hanging outside the flagship Japanese Apple store, waiting for the iPhone 6. <laughs> Already queuing for the iPhone 6. When is it due? It's not for months, is it? It's not even been announced. <laughs> it's not even been announced. Uh, it probably would be around about September time. Maybe, if you're lucky. What do you mean, if you're lucky? I don't care when it comes out. Yeah, well, Look wait. at me, I'm still on iPhone 4. Yeah, but he's... yeah He, <laughs> he, he was dressed in black, and he had... And I, his face, he had an iPhone as a hat, but he, where his face was, was where the home button is. So now imagine how big that hat is. <laughs> yeah. It's huge. <laughs> and he uh, spent seven days outside the iPhone, uh, the, at the Apple store, and then went home. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're skirting over that one. I think we need to. Right. Okay. You'll like this one. <clears throat> Iraqi suicide bomb instructor accidentally blows himself and 22 trainee terrorists. <laughs> now, this is Darwin Awards, if Absolutely. I ever saw it. Right. A suicide bomber teacher accidentally blew himself and his students to smithereens after using live explosives in his belt. The extremist was de- demonstrating how to use a deadly belt at the camp north of Baghdad when he... In- inadvertently set off the device instantly killing, killing himself and those around him the total uh, the total blast killed 22 insurgents and wounded a fifth uh, further 15 according to local police the teacher was thought to be a recruiter for a faction of sunnis dedicated to destroying the shia dominated iraq government local officials said eight surviving militants were arrested as they tried to escape the scene <laughs> As they tried to pick up their arms Absolutely. and legs. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that's not mine. <laughs> uh, obviously, people blowing up is never fun, but 
If no, you're there blow, learning to blow up other people, then frankly, you probably deserve that. Well, yeah, that is a case of the Darwin Awards, as I uh, thoroughly learned this year about Darwin. <laughs> not all of it is funny. No, it's not. There you go. But that one certainly is. It tickled I my agree. funny bones. I agree. Right, right. Okay. there oh, you go. Oh, I've got cramp. <laughs> that teach me for playing football. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, right. Should we head on to the main subject of the day? Let's. Okay, before my leg falls off. And now, the main subject of the evening. Right. Dinosaurs. Rrr. I'm not going to move for the rest of this podcast, just in case <laughs> one of my muscles decides to, to clench up. Right. <sighs> Are you a fan of dinosaurs? Silly question. Yeah, of course I'm a fan of dinosaurs. Everyone loves the dinosaurs. Well, that's what I was thinking. You can't um, go wrong with dinosaurs. When? When do you reckon you first learned about dinosaurs? Um, we actually did a project my second year in school on dinosaurs. Mm. Um, I think that's. I, I mean, obviously before that, you, you're always aware of dinosaurs. Yeah. You know. Um, but it's the first time I can remember being consciously thinking about dinosaurs, you know, and, and discussing dinosaurs. Yeah. But I think dinosaurs are one of those things that, as a youngster, you just, you're aware of them, aren't you? You know, you're from a very, very early age. Well, yeah, they're always there, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of fascinating, really, that something is, you know, it, it makes you realise, once again, that uh, you're not, you're not, you know, we're here at the moment, but we might not necessarily always be. You know, the dinosaurs have come and they've gone. It's a bit weird. I find that a bit fascinating. That, right, I know the question did this as a, a question. Did they? A question for okay. us. Not, not dinosaurs, but what blows your mind. Okay. And the dinosaur thing mm. frazzles me. Mm. It really, really does. The mm. fact that they, they, it's not stories of old no where you've heard oh there's dragons no oh there's you know, men fought big lizards and stuff like that no they were actually here yeah they absolutely. were here and we found you know whatever remains there are yeah but it just baffles me you know thinking about that far ago mm. you know I'm not saying that Tyrannosaurus Rex was walking around here because he wasn't. That was more of a, a North America. Yeah, but they thing. found a new one that is about the same sort of size that was walking around here. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Okay. There you go. Because it, it was all part of a... See, the, the time scale is so vast. Yeah. It's huge mm. amounts of time that we're talking about. Yeah. Well, you see, that's one of the things that I learned this week that I didn't know. It's like, obviously, there are various different dinosaurs that existed at various different times, like Stegosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex didn't exist at the same time. Or was it Tyrannosaurus or Stegosaurus had been wiped out by the time that the, the Tyrannosaurus came into existence? Yeah, Stegosaurus was gone. Yeah, it's like, that blow my mind straight away. Yeah. Because you think, it's a dinosaur. They're all dinosaurs. They were together. But in fact, yeah. they were such a long period of time that, um, yeah. Uh, they're just, you know, they're not, they're not even existing in the same time scale. So that's just straight away, that's bizarre. I, I think I read Stegosaurus was 155 to 150 million years ago. Yeah. That's a long time. Yeah. Uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex was 65 to 68 million years ago, yeah. I think it was. I can't remember. Can't so remember the numbers. There's a bigger gap between the Stegosaurus and Tyrannosaurus. Than us and the Tyrannosaurus. Yeah. And it honestly, that canes me. It really does. Yeah. It, it just destroys me. Absolutely. Um Yeah, I became uh, well I became fascinated with dinosaurs when I was a kid. Everyone right. had these these little dinosaur books. Yeah. I had a couple of dinosaur books at home. Mm-hmm. And some of them had the, the Tyrannosaurus Rex upright and some of them had him stooped over. Yeah. You know, if you, if, I think my first encounter with dinosaurs was going to the Natural History Museum mm. with my school. Yeah. And just looking at that. And as you walk in, 
yeah. that is it a brontosaurus? I think it's Diplodocus. Dip, 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 yeah, Diplodocus. And I remember walking in and going, whoa. Yeah. And then going, they're actually are they are they the bones? That's the thing. Yeah, they're actually the bones, yeah. Right, okay. No, I'm um, just in my head I, I have heard stories of they're not actually the bones. Mm. They're more the um the carbon that was left in the bones. Leaving the mm. bone shape. I don't They're know, not actually. actually the bones, but then again, I'm not an archaeologist, so I'm, uh, I, I could be getting that completely wrong. No, you prob- there's probably something to it. I don't know. I, I just assumed it was the bones that were fossilised, right. like petrified wood. It is converted into something else. I don't know. Yeah. I, I I would not like to give a definitive yes or no on that one. Yeah. So I really couldn't say. Well, if anyone does know, <coughs> Lee Harvey, <coughs> let us know. <laughs> if I've got that right or if I've got that wrong it would be lovely to know but yeah walking in and yeah. seeing that thing gazing above you because I was a, a teeny tiny toddler yeah going, and I spent the whole day just mouth open going whoa uh, but I've been there recently mm. it's kind of it, it's like a big dog <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, it's a bit bigger yeah, than a dog. It is huge. Funny, it's, that, there's some a big old thing, and it's bizarre to think that you know it's, it was wandering around this earth. Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, you know, I just I dinosaurs on the whole. It, you see, once again, it's like I was thinking about this just the other day. You know, we we talk about you know George and the dragon. Uh, so dragons, in particular. Yeah. Um, you just think to yourself, you know, it's a load of old tosh, it's a story. Yeah. But then you think, well, actually, dragons, you know, they, they ruled the earth at one point in time. Yeah. You know, you called them with dinosaurs, Tyrannosaurus rex, some of them had wings, some of them didn't. You know, we don't know which of them had, you know, some of them might have had extra wings. There might be something that's not even discovered yet that is a dragon that did even come into, you know, into our existence. Might have been one or two left over. We just yeah. don't know, you know. Um, and, and all of a sudden, it's not such a stra- crazy story. You know, when I think about George and the Dragon, I just think, what a load of old tosh. Mm. I think, well, actually... It's not that silly an idea to think that there was a dinosaur because they actually existed. Yeah. You know, something something came through and, you know, there might have been one or two floating around and they were they were killed. Nobody would have saved the the, um, the bodies. No. You just kill it and you get rid of it. That's yeah. it, done and dusted. So, I don't know, you know, it's like... I still can't... I still, to an extent... I still, to an extent, cannot quite believe that dinosaurs are real, I guess, what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I know they're real. But at the same time, they still have that element of if you haven't seen it walking and doing something, it's it's not real, mm. even though you know for a fact it is. And that that's kind of the mind blowing aspect of it, definitely. Yeah, that's what I find. See, you say about George and the Dragon. Is yeah. it possible that someone found a skull somewhere and went, "Oh, oh, look at this! Yeah, look at this big thing! Oh, this is a dragon." Just found a skull, flipping huge, lots of teeth, a big long uh, spinal column, yeah. and thinks, well, hang on, that must be the neck. Yeah. You know, the, these things, the the world of roads, and so they find these things, to, you know, just fall out. I yeah. think, oh, hang on, look at that. And maybe that's where the myth of dragons came from. Possibly. Or possibly there was a couple floating around still. I, I wonder how many skeletons we've lost due to the silly people who didn't know what they were doing probably more than we can you know we'll ever know i mean if you go down to uh to devon you can pick out various different fossil bits fossil bits straight out of the uh out of the cliff yeah you know we've got a, a mammoth tooth down there which is a completely different period to dinosaurs mm. but you just find them you just find them floating around so you know there's probably been all sorts of stuff being picked up yeah